Welcome back to my channel. We are going to continue our angiogram and view series and move on to LAO cranial. As always, we're going to recap some of the core concepts that you've learned in previous videos. If not, go ahead and revisit those if you haven't seen them yet. And then we are going to do a few examples with some moving angiograms on the left hand side. So first things first, we're going to start with our foundation. Just as a recap, depending on what technique you've committed to using. Now you can see the catheter is on your right hand side. You could use like the left main as a reference point. So the catheter is on the right. So that tells you it is LAO. So we'll write a little note here, LAO. And then cranial versus caudal. But let's recap. So LAO, not only is it, hey, the catheter is on this right hand side, but look at the, these epicardial vessels. Can you kind of see and trace the heart shadow? So you see that looks like that longer football, right? Versus REO kind of goes this way. So this is definitely an LAO view. And in LAO, if we draw our little image to help us remember over here, the wall on the left, the acronym was SAL, right? S-A-L for septal, apical, and lateral. So what coronary artery reaches down towards the apex? The LAD, and then what vessel feeds the lateral wall? The circumflex. So that would tell us this one that is pointing down in the middle towards the apex is the LAD, and these coming over here have to be part of the circ system to feed that lateral wall, and then this is the septal wall, which the septal perforators would usually be going in that direction. But between this vessel here and this one, which are the two main, which one can you see best? Okay, they both have some overlap, but this LAD, you can definitely see all of this of the LAD really well. So that makes it a cranial view. So you would call this LAO cranial. And let's take it one step further and just do some of the rest of the anatomy. Okay, we'll zoom in a little bit here. So we identified this longer one in the middle as the LAD. Okay, what comes off the LAD? diagonals and septal perforators. So there is definitely overlap here, but this vessel is a diagonal. This is possibly a diagonal or the circ system, but that's the lateral wall, right? So kind of confusing what the diagonals are versus the circ, but this is definitely the LAD, the main, mid, and distal LAD. Then the septal perforators are all these little hairs coming off. You definitely have a circ system over here somewhere. So one of these branches are of two marginals. And then remember, this is either like the diag or the OM, which is kind of con confusing in this view. And then you have the left main, the catheter, right, going down the aorta. So this is from a femoral approach. So let's take this concept and apply it to some angiograms. First of all, yes, this tells you, hi, I'm LAO cranial. These are both very shallow views. Remember, we talked about steep versus shallow views. So shallow, you know, 20s. And then a steep cranial, you might see up to 45, okay? That does increase some of the scatter radiation that you are receiving. Um, so some physicians do prefer shallower views, but it really just depends on the anatomy. If you're trying to open up some of the overlap, you might do some steeper views. Okay, so let's recap again here and just identify some of what we're looking at. So the catheter is right here. This is the left main. This whole thing is the left coronary artery. This is the heart shadow, so you can see it. it's in that football, football oblong shape. The apex is down here, so you trace that back. This is the LAD. This is the circ system of some kind because this is the lateral wall. Okay, and then we'll try to lay those out a little better. So we're going to call this, let's make that a little bigger. I'm going to call this Prox LAD mid LAD, distal LAD. Over here somewhere is the circumflex system and obtuse marginals. Then you have some of these smaller branches coming out and this one could be a very, very tiny diagonal right here because it's going that way. But let's call the rest of these septal perforators. Okay, left main, it's a kind of a long left main too. Well, no, not really. 
not if this is uh, the rest of the CERC. Okay, and then again, OM or CERC system, or this one could possibly be a diagonal. And then we said this super tiny one right here, very tortuous, right, very small vessels, could be another diagonal. Okay, next, this one is a really nice LAO layout so you can definitely see this heart shadow compared to the other one which wasn't as prominent okay uh, vertically again catheter is here this is from a femoral approach catheter is on your right hand side but you could also say it's LAO because of this how oblong this is and how oval it is and we know this is the apex so again you trace that back that's the LAD over here would be the circ because this is the lateral wall. This is probably a diagonal. So let's march some of that out. This is the left main, and then it bifurcates into this is the circ system, some OMs down here. Remember, caudal is for the circumflex view, so you may not be able to differentiate that. Prox LAD. Do you remember where the mid LAD is designated? After. The first diagonal so we'll call this mid LAD and then the distal LAD near the apex and we'll call this diagonal one because I don't really see any others um, this very very tiny branch up here might be a diagonal but we definitely need to see other views and then this one is a septal perforator and I can't really see too many you might be able to see it on the moving angiogram more than here Okay, and last one here. So this is a, a very prominent separation of the LED and the circ. And again, it, it just depends on the angulation of your view. Again, you can kind of see that shape catheters over here that makes that LAO. And then you have the LED running in the middle. You can see the LED best in the forefront. So that makes it LAO cranial. All right, and then let's work on the anatomy. Okay, we'll start again with the left main. We have this bifurcation of the left main. This is the lateral wall, so that would be the circ system and OMs, um, possible PDA, hard to tell, because there's definitely some septals down here, but remember, we use caudal views for that. Okay, prox LED. I'm really not seeing, well, maybe I guess this is maybe a diagonal, because the rest of these are definitely septals. So we'll just segment mid LED, distal LED. These are septal perforators. And if you notice, it's much more prominent on the moving image, but there is collateralization going on towards the right coronary artery. So you see some of these vessels over here are collaterals. And then you'll see on the moving image, it is actually perfusing the distal RCA which indicates for you that there is some sort of occlusion in this RCA where you need these left to right collaterals. And that's why you'll kind of see them panning over, which is important to do when you start to see really vasculature not normally where it's supposed to be. You wanna follow it and see where it's going. And that's all for our LAO cranial examples. If you want some others, check out the previous videos where we walk through some of the caudal views and then how to use that heart shadow like we were doing here to determine if it's LAO or REO and even to identify some of the coronaries simply based on knowing what vessel feeds what wall of the left ventricle. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Like and subscribe so we can do more content together in the future. Comment diagonal below if you stayed until the end because I saw where the diagonal was. Look at these, what I called septals, are actually collaterals, and they're collateralizing this diagonal that is actually occluded. Really cool to watch, so watch it one more time.